Let's begin with the first question. Isabella, why did you come to Germany? Um, actually the story of how I came to Germany. Um, I came to So today I'm here to ask her some questions about her experience in Germany and for us to also learn something new. So she's from Lesotho. Some people think Lesotho and South Africa are together, but they are different. <laughs> yeah, very different. So any advice concerning anything you'd like to share? Um, I would like to share um, um, the, the good things about uh, being in Germany. Um, for me, like, uh, I think I've never experienced uh, health care like good health care yeah. like in in the way that i did here in germany and who um and, uh, it's it's one of those things that you know that um um you you need to have health insurance and uh, it covers everything and like because of the twin pregnancy it was said to be a, a risk pregnancy so like i had to have oh. a lot of doctors appointments and Oh, this one is, is the fun one. You know, like um, in, in Lesotho, me, I used to go to the public clinic. I don't know you people from Lesotho who <laughs> went to your fancy doctors, what happened there. Yeah. But here, if you have this issue, then you have, you get this paper to mm -hmm. go see a doctor who exactly. specializes in this. I mean, during, so during pregnancy, I ended up, uh, I was visiting three doctors now. Wow. Like, I, it was so hard because sometimes in one week I have three appointments. Like, I'm wow. going there. Then on another day, I'm going there. So, but it was nice that you are getting that care mm -hmm. and security, like, I have never felt uh, this yeah, safe see, in yeah. in my life. You know, yeah. uh, I have worked at Amazon. Uh, yeah. You know, I did the Amazon job. And the night shifts, like, I remember when I first got here and my husband who said, like, when I was, when we were still doing the master program. Yeah. And then he said, you know, sometimes you'll be coming home late uh, around 10 p.m. Oh. Uh, or go into the shop at 10 p.m. Mm. And I'd be like, like no, so you will, you will you be waiting for me? And he's like, no, no, you will figure it out. And, like, no, but, uh, you know, during that time I was, I would come home at, I, I would arrive here at quarter past two, in uh, two, uh, two, oh, wow. two, 15 a.m. Wow. Yeah, because of the delays, you know, here yeah. it's very far. And yeah. we were from Brandenburg. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And I would just like walk because, yeah, security, it feels, ah, it is very safe. You know, when I read in the news, uh, the kidnappings, babies being killed, babies being raped. Mm. Um, it's true that I've had a story of a child being being found maybe a suspected killing recently wow. but here in berlin or somewhere in germany i don't know mm. but those news are so rare mm. but um back home like kids are going missing yeah. so much that um <sighs> sometimes it's not even news like when sometimes yeah. a, a woman is killed by a spouse and it's a horrific killing yeah. like ah you yeah. look at the news it's sad but it's just another statistic mm -hmm. and yeah. i feel like i ah, i feel like um i i feel i feel like we're entitled to 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 be in a safe place yeah. like that and yeah. it saddens me that um those kind of things happen yeah. in where we are from and yeah that is what i like being here and um also i feel like um here you can be or at least now my kids uh, i feel like if i would raise my kids here they would be they have an opportunity to be anything they would want to be yeah. like i saw a, a story recently about an athlete uh, from my country who was struggling to find um 
You know she's a number seven in Africa. She plays okay. taekwon, taekwondo. You know. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, not number number seven in the world and wow. number one in Africa. Wow. And she was missing some tournaments uh, because she 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 could not uh, find funding, and that oh. really saddened yeah. me because I feel like ah, oh, this girl should have all the support, support she that needs. she needs. Yeah. Yes, and then I had another story about one of the moms in the in in the in that group who lives here mm. her son is is actually starring in a in a film in a film or something like oh, that wow. here in germany and then i was like oh my god this is amazing like this is this is inspiring mm-hmm. because you see in our communities people it's like you need to go to school and be like people in the arts don't really mm-hmm. get to um to express themselves and, yeah. and make money out of it and if you don't excel in school um it is said that hey uh you um maybe you're not smart um, and a culture this- shock but um it is also something that for me um i found uh, to be very cool and inspiring it's that here you can be anything you want to be and mm. nobody is really um um nobody nobody is really looking down on anybody if there is anybody who is doing that i think it's us people who are <laughs> from where we are from yeah. and we know that ah oh, you're doing this mm. yeah. yeah but people who people are lifting like you see people doing jobs that you know that back at home people will be like mm, no ah uh, yeah you know it's so <laughs> yeah so like i i like that about yeah. this place that people are doing their best and they are earning their living and honestly they just look happy and going about their lives on it uh, the truth is we never really know what people are going through yeah but um i feel like um sometimes we are going through so much um we cannot afford to 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 be beggars uh, mm-hmm. what beggars can be choosers we cannot afford to be choosing that ah, i cannot do this job mm-hmm. because this and that at that time you don't have food at home so like i like the culture here that like people uh i see hardworking people like when i was doing that amazon job i would mm. i had to be up at uh i think at 3 a.m okay wow. when for the morning shift at 3 a.m because sometimes i had to leave um at half past four mm-hmm. and at far half past four when i woke when i when i got inside the tram it was already it's, it's already full wow. and it's only here where i'm living and then i will connect and take the 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 s-bahn and the s-bahn is full people are standing <laughs> and then like we will go yeah. take the regional everybody's running and we arrive there at six yeah and i used to think that when i was not working at six um for me what that said to me was okay i'm here still sleeping at six at six um uh, maybe say I wake up at seven or eight, or at eight, like people have already done so much. People have in in this just one hour that I was asleep, mm-hmm. people have achieved so much. Yeah. Uh, I'm here sleeping. So yeah. for me, I realized that um, I I like the culture that people are working hard and they are doing everything to just uh, yeah. get there. Yeah. So. Oh ah uh, oh my god you know me i have stories for days <laughs> <laughs> and for me um what i like about germany as well is i don't know if other people have experienced like um racism yeah in a, for me the way i would say i suspect racism you know like sometimes people are looking at you funny and, and then yeah and then yeah it's subtle and then you're just like mm, what What's up? But I like that when I go to the store, um, and this I compare it to um, 
to my country like um you know the people in the grocery stores will be rude mm. but here people will say like hello and help you mm-hmm. and then say um have a good day yeah you know oh sometimes you have you need that have a good day yeah. have a good weekend yeah <laughs> and also like uh the efficiency of the um the the government offices yeah ah uh, like you go there with you with your appointments meant, <laughs> you get me. everything that you need yeah on the spot like ah uh, for me that is yeah, that is everything true. yeah uh, i really like ah uh, uh, the germans and their <laughs> efficiencies i mean they uh, i know they take pride in that and i think they should yeah. because uh that is very cool i feel like we could all do that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah just like you know sometimes you experience somebody is not treating you well at their employment you were standing on the line you don't understand why are you being so unkind to me what did yeah. i do to you yeah. and like i like that here people just mm-hmm. like oh they will just go out of their way to help you and i yeah. i like that mindset <laughs> thank you so yeah. so much for for your time so oh, if cool. you haven't subscribed yet kindly subscribe like and share and don't forget people who are amazing help others to be amazing thank you mm-hmm.